Well, moving on as Israel prepares for its third consecutive election next week, the United States Democratic Party is also gearing up for a vote of its own. But what are the major differences between the Israeli and the American election systems? And how does that translate into policy and governance? Joining us to discuss is Gideon Israel, the founder and president of the Jerusalem Washington Center. So before we get into the answers to these questions, let's talk about the rocket fire that we've been seeing over the last 24 hours. Dozens of rockets coming from the Gaza Strip into Israeli territory. Why is this happening right now? And is it related to the elections? Well, I think the Palestinian terrorists and Hamas, I think they know that um, right before the elections, the government is between a rock and a hard place. So when they start firing rockets, on the one hand, if the, if the government decides to embark on a large-scale invasion, so the other party would say, you know, they're doing it as an election ploy to divert attention so they look strong, so everybody thinks that they should be the ones in government. And if they don't do anything, then the government looks weak and it looks, uh, you know, it looks like it can't protect its citizens, which also, um, which is obviously not so good for the ruling party. So, so this happens oftentimes um, in election season because right. Hamas, uh, they understand Israeli politics. But then this is, so this is really just looking and saying, hey, this is my chance to do the maximum amount of damage with the least repercussion. It's not really to do with either political party to support her or you know attack either either one side um, I don't I don't think so um, we also don't know how blue and white would respond so um, I don't think uh, I don't think it has to do with uh, any particular political party all right well on, and, and on that note let's move on let's talk a little bit about the differences right now that we're seeing um, in the Israeli electoral system and what is happening in democratic primaries the Democrats and the Republicans in the upcoming national elections well, the, well, the American system has um, has uh, um, is, is a different system than the Israeli system because you really do have a true separation of powers. The executive is is voted in by direct election, so the president is voted in by the people, and then you have a bicameral legislator, the Senate and the House of Representatives, which is um, voted in separately by the people. But um, f putting the Senate aside for the for a second, the House of Representatives is voted in. Per district, based on based on the amount based on a certain amount of population, which is about seven hundred and fifty thousand per district. Right. Whereas the Israeli system, we don't we don't elect a person; we we elect a party. Mm -hmm. So um, so we we have about six or seven eight parties that are running, and and you're not going to elect one person; you you vote for a whole party slate, which means, by the way, that. Um, the people in Israel are voting. The parties are more based on ideology as opposed to members of Congress who are who are representing a certain district where they're supposed to fix certain problems and represent a certain group of people. So, how, how do these things translate into governance, which is kind of what we were touching on before? For example, uh, you know, accountability <clears throat> and the fact that we're having three elections in a row. And in the Israel. fact that we're yeah. having three elections right now. Yeah. Well, I think it was it was comical. You had um, you had uh, Don, Donald Trump from the Oval Office saying, you know. They have elections in Israel, but nobody gets elected. I don't understand what's going on there. So in America, there are elections, and there are results, and there's a government, meaning that um, when, when Congress is, is, is elected, the House of Representatives, for example, so the majority party, or the people caucusing with the majority party, they're the ones controlling the House of Representatives, and the same thing with the Senate. And then you have a president, and if the president is from one party, and the Congress is from another party. They have to learn to work together right. and, and get along. Whereas, whereas Israel, um, whereas Israel, basically, there's no real separation of powers between the legislative and executive branch. We have a parliamentary system, so so the prime minister is basically the outcome of a coalition within the legislative branch. Right. In other words, if you know, even if you have more votes, even if your party gets more votes, you still have to. Sit and you have to make your bed with some other parties, right? Also, you so, get what you get in terms of the individuals who make it into the government. Right. As so, a, I mean, you vote for these ideological parties, but ultimately, who runs that party is not up to you. Right. Yeah, so, that's so, true. There, so there's there's a there's a few thing there's a few things in. I and mean, we've had th we're having three elections. We might even have four elections in Israel now. There's a few um, potential things that that could be changed that could um, make such a scenario, um, you know, that it wouldn't repeat itself. So the first thing is that in in America. Um, Politicians finance their own campaigns. They have to go out and get right. campaign donations, and that's not an easy thing. In Israel, the government finances the, the campaigns of the politicians, which also gives an advantage to those politicians already in the Knesset, because new politicians do not get financing unless they actually succeed in being elected to the Knesset. The, se the second thing is that 
the, in Israel, the people who are making the decisions have the least accountability. So, for example, when Prime Minister Netanyahu or when uh, General Gantz decides to have another, um, another election round, so if their party does worse, they're not the ones who are going to lose their seats. It's going to be numbers 31, yeah, 32, and 33. So, so you have a system where the ones who are making the decisions actually are not being held accountable. Oh, All right. Wow. Well, we could go on. Into, yeah. we, could, we could stay in this conversation for a lot longer, especially yeah. if it's up to me. But unfortunately, we do have to move on. The elections are just eight days yeah. away, right? Um, just, so yeah. They're quickly approaching. But don't worry. It sounds like we'll have another one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Gideon, thank you so much for coming in. Sure.